Uh, he finagled his way into a drive. I've ridden in it before. Go ahead. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Popped his bikes out here. Old Richie finagled his way into a drive. <laughs> Side of here, and look at this freaking wall climb. That's crazy. This guy right here. Holy crap! That is straight up. Let's go over here. See if the sign says the same thing. our first victim right here. <laughs> it's all rock bottom so it's not even slick. I'm just coasting through it at like three miles an hour. So most of the stuff out here is just all rock crawling. I'm sure you can find some mud somewhere, but most everybody's set up for rock crawling out here. So there's a hill called Viagra because you get straight up. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm ser <laughs> She's shaking her head back here, but I'm serious. There's a hill called Viagra out here. Is 
inside the shop here. So there'll be a bathroom right here. Gonna have these clear panels over each bay on each side so the sunlight will be coming into natural light. Man, this was, it was clear skies like 15, 20 minutes ago. Now it's all windy and cold. It feels good though, but so here's where my shop is. And this is kind of giving y'all a better idea of the layout here. So this is Omni right here. There's the service truck. And then this is the add-on all out here. So there's gonna be three more buildings right here. Um, the scale, and then you can pull straight through over here to my shop. But I'm about to call it a day. New shop, almost all set up. Got an equipment wall over here, tool wall and tool and bolt bins over here. Over there is going to be my little office area type thing. Um, there's going to be a bathroom in this corner. And then I've got a lot more of these cabinets that are going to go along here. And one of them will have a spot where there's no bottom. So you can hold, have your seat in right there. And this will all be um, cabinets. And then I got these cabinets right here to hang on the wall. And uh, this will all be a fabrication area. This is just clutter right now. But I'll have some benches across this wall. And then I'll have some some long ways right here too probably two of them long ways um metal tables so that i can tack weld to them and make sure that make sure the tables are squared and then i can tack weld to them and fab on them and make sure everything's squared um, the compressor is going to go outside behind this wall right here and we've got a pad back there that we poured so we can put the compressor back there so it's not loud in the shop and also uh, it's going to be a muddy mess um and also we're going to put some pallet racking back here so that i can put any big bulky objects or anything back here on the back and uh kind of keep it a little less cluttered in the shop so we'll have this area to store some stuff and all that and this is the rest of omni so from these totes right here over is all new it was all just built with my shop so we've got these two loading bays for the straight trucks and we've got these three bays for the semis and uh, we've got a scale in this far bay and they set it up so they can drive right through pull in and get serviced so this side right here is going to be the big truck service side this side is going to be the classic car side my lift's going to be over here because the bathroom is going to cut some uh, cut a little room out so the semis and the straight trucks might not fit in here too well so we're going to do that on this side have the classics and everything done on this side so got my banners hung up a couple banners so it's getting close just got to wait for electric and then i can build my bathroom and do the plum and have the plumbing done and once that's done i can know where everything's going to fit over here i can get all the all that set up and then I got to find some pallet racking and I'm looking into getting some pallet racking that will go up and go above all my boxes. So it'll all be storage up there. And if so, I'll have to move my banners, of course, but pallet racking so that I can store, you know, stuff like this right here. This has got parts in it for a PTO compressor for the big trucks. Um, and like that bumper and, you know, these totes right here that are full of just supplies and everything can be all up off the floor and up above the toolboxes right there. Then I'll put some lights under there and everything, but we're getting close, guys. We're getting close to having this thing up and functional. So whenever electric's done, I'll be able to bring my lift over and I'll have them do a drop down for the 220 for the lift, do the lift over here. And I've actually got floor drains in this shop too, which is really nice. I got one in each bay. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're getting close. We got these guys too, the skylights in here. So as you can see how bright it is in here, there's no lights or anything yet. Of course, this door is open, but we've got uh, open clear panels on the doors too. So a lot of natural light in here and it's it's coming along really good. I'm, I'm really excited. Waiting for electric for my electric door openers too. Ugh, so yeah, this is really exciting guys. Getting close. All right, so I'm not gonna go too in depth with this because I'm burning and turning through these projects so quick, but this is uh, 
where I'm mounting up this fridge, our ARB fridge, freezer combo, and our lab truck here so we can put water samples and stuff in here. And uh, so what I've done is I've pulled this out and it comes with these retainers that hook here like that and then they go down and bolt to the floor and then it's got a pull strap to tighten it up but uh so uh, i'm mounting these feet all in the pleats of the bed here and then i'll have these come down and these guys bolt to it and then the strap runs through it and everything uh, as far as the wiring on this goes it's pretty straightforward right here is our 12 volts we've got coming from the battery it comes um if you buy the wiring kit it comes with um a long set of cable that uh, comes with the ends and um it's already got eyelets for the battery and then it comes with the spade terminals and we bought this thing separate it's a little flush mount kit and then that's where your 12 volts plugs into and it comes out here and just plugs in and then we've added this 110 source so she can plug it in and it just comes out and plugs into the fridge so pretty straightforward um, so the inside looks like it's got the shelf that goes in there too has a divider and there's an app for this so you can set your temperatures turn it on and off and check it all all on your phone which is pretty cool so i'll check back in when i got it mounted also, if I had to do something differently on this, I would have put my holes up higher up in the corner. Um, just didn't account for it. So there's the mounts all in place. Time to set the fridge back in. So this is how the straps go. This plate fits on here. You take your tag in. Make sure to keep it all straight. Go through the bottom down here. And then you'll take this end, open it up, come through the back, like so. And there it is. And then you'll just all pull it down nice and tight. And then you'll have a, a, a nice tight fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and route this one. And then I'll go around and suck them all down real tight. End up with something like this. Let me tell you, this thing is not going anywhere. So, now I'll just get to plug all the electrical ends back in it, and she's good to go. Farmer Joe! Do that thing up there here, boy.